Okay, he did say no. Oh, no, no! Well, hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back! My name is Oshi Kurosu. I'm here for you guys for some more Mario Maker 2. And today we got a really cool episode coming up featuring the end of the year, the end of the decade. Stay tuned, check it out. Let's just dive into it, shall we? All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you guys ready for this? So basically what we're doing today is we're taking the top five courses from every category to finish off the top five courses of easy, normal, expert and super expert all for the end of the year for the end of the decade and going into 2020 so 2020 is the top 20 going into 2020 are you 20 out let's go so anyways this is easy mode so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna search we're gonna go by difficulty uh we're gonna choose all the regions we're gonna go all time ranking and we're gonna come up with ba ba da boo so we have a level one, a Japanese level, which I cannot read. Which, I mean, I can read a little bit of it. Uh, we have get a life 3D in number two spot. We have another level from Japan in level three. We have another level in Japan, which is actually like 2020 New Year's trial. And we also have Islavia's uh, level as well, number five. So as always, we're going to start from number five, work our way up from number to one, number one. And then we're going to go to the next difficulty and move up. So without further ado... Number five. All right. So the first option that we have on our, well, the first level that we're going to be playing today is called Logical Solutions. Level code is 1WNBXB5MF by Icelavia. A lot of people have played this. It's got over 145,000 hearts as for beginners and advanced users to use your brains to attack. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I like to think I'm a, I'm a kind of an advanced player. I'll put that to the test. Okay, so basically, it's just like a light puzzle solving level from what I can see so far. Uh, and I'm okay with that, so. Okay, wait a minute. What? Oh, we gotta, oh, <laughs> we gotta stand over here. Okay, fair enough. That was nothing. Uh, we should get the spring to come out here. All right, we're gonna hit the switch and we're gonna, okay, so yeah, again, some like light puzzle solving, um, some light puzzle solving. Bomb's gonna blow it up and then we're gonna be able to bop that. Uh-oh. Okay, we have a new access path here. I don't wanna go up there. I feel like that's just gonna not end very well. Okay, we can't do anything there. What happens if we hit this? Oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, I like this course. This is some nice, this is some nice course work in here. I uh, will be able to go back through. There we go. Now, obviously these levels, I always say this when I do these, when I do these uh, courses is that, you know, these levels are designed to be the best of the best. Well, maybe they're not designed to be the best of the best, but they have definitely end up becoming some of the best courses available to play. Now the, the views and the, the rankings really kind of <laughs> like the amount of hearts and the amount of plays that this level has definitely kind of showcases that and and allows us to uh to see just how awesome and amazing uh some of the courses that people create are I'm liking this so far okay we're gonna double back oh look at this okay it, it builds like a little path for, okay builds a little path for us there what do you guys think of this course so far? You guys gonna give it a shot? Do you guys do you guys watch this? And you're like, yo, I'd like to give this a shot. I think this looks pretty cool. Okay, I was like, how are we gonna get out? Okay, in this way we're gonna go. Bop that. Down we're gonna go. Up and around again. Let the bomb do its thing. I like how this user has created some safeguards so that it's a little safer going forward that you don't end up like accidentally kamikazing into uh Ooh, a 30 coin. You don't end up accidentally kind of walking into the bomb by going too fast. The donut's there to kind of help you. Hey, slow down a minute. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I think we're going to be completely safe here. Is this the end? Yo, and we're standing like right on top of the spike top helmet too. 
Islavia. What a cool course. What a great design. Absolutely loved it. It was really sweet. Let's see what's in for number four directly after this one here. Somebody beat that in 31 seconds? Not even possible. Number four. All right, this level is called New Year's Trial. It's it's made by a creator named uh, Ha Ha LOL Mickey. Uh, so we're going to give it a shot. I cannot, unfortunately, can't read very much of it, but 3,000 likes on this, almost 10,000 players. It's going to be good. 82% clear rate. This is going to be no problem for us on a skill level. However, I love playing some of these easier levels because it really gives you a showcase of just how inventive and how awesome people can make courses and stuff. Okay, 2019. Uh-oh, 2019 has gone. It's done, Fo. Love there's a little bit of storytelling in this level as well. All right, we got this. 2018. Uh-oh. That won't do anything, will it? Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, so 18. We're going into 17 now. 2018, you're done, Fo. See you later. Oh. Okay. Hey, we're going to get a cool new helmet. I'm liking this so far. Okay, we're back into 19 again. Why did they give us 18 and then 19? 19. We went 2019 to 2018. I think it I think it was Was it 17 maybe? I wasn't Oh. Okay, run. Get ready to run. Gotta love good communication in level two. Wait, I can't run anywhere. Ooh. Now I can run somewhere. Whew. All right, we got this. I, I'm pretty sure we're like pretty far ahead. I don't think we gotta worry too much about our timing here. Yo, we got Boom Boom waiting for us. Oh, the wall's gonna come smoosh Boom Boom. Yo, 2020 coming in like a boss, baby. See ya. <laughs> okay, where, where are we going to go from here? 2020. Oh, it's a pipe. I thought it was a door. Now, I'm a little nervous about this section here because I feel like it is possible to accidentally get smooshed there. Happy... New. Yay. Oh, uh, you know what? You guys just get out of here. Happy New Year. What an awesome course. Thanks. Well, you're welcome. Ha ha, LOL, Mickey. You're welcome. That was a good time. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. I guess I didn't get the clear on it. Whatever. Level three. All right, so we didn't get the clear on level four technically, but we did beat it. So we're going to move on to level three here. We have planetary exploration. Okay, the NASA. Uh, nice little lovely play on the NASA logo. We have 146,000 hearts on this. Over 457,000 individual unique players. All right, should be a good course. Um, Mario, the something... Something of Mario. So Mario's space exploration, whatever NASA is, is instead of the N, we have an M for Massa. Okay, what are we doing here? I don't know where we're... Oh, is this... Where are we? Are we in the rocket ship? What's the setup here? No, now we're in the rocket ship. All right, we're blasting off, baby! Truth. 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 Again, uh, some really like high. I, I find like playing these courses are like some of the greatest, and I know obviously they're really great. Like they have a they have a high like and a play ratio. However, um, I also just really like all the detail that's been put into the to the actual like you know the aesthetics of the level. Some of the whoa, I did not know fireballs bounced. Uh, I didn't know fireballs bounced. Maybe it wasn't the fireball. Maybe it was something else. I don't know. Oh, man. There's UFOs in the background. We got coins. These, like, maybe shooting stars or something. I don't know. 
All right, and then we're going to hit checkpoint and move on to the space exploration of the level here. Uh, let's go. Okay, so this is like our lunar... Oh, we're in the space theme. Okay. Uh, this is like our little lunar rover landing. Is there any bonus for going up top? I would love to see, you know, some kind of like thank you for exploring. Not always necessary, but you put a 30 coin up there and your boy's happy. Okay, what is this? Is that an alien like waving hello to us? Yeah, the art is really great on this one. Oh yeah, they're aliens, all right. And he came bearing a gift. He's got a gift for us. Another fire flower, sweet. Oh, this is uh, this is a tentacle boy. I guess I guess I just really enjoy playing these kind of levels. Look at them all. They're so snaky. They're so like tentacly. He's hanging from the ceiling. He's hanging from the ceiling. Or she. Maybe aliens don't have a gender. I don't know. He this one's attached to the wall. All right, here we go. I really encourage you guys, if you guys are ever looking for something to do in Mario Maker and you, you're just kind of playing around, you're like, all right, I want to play something cool. Definitely take a look into these and give it a look and just check it out based on... Oh, another UFO. Oh, no. There's an evil dude in the UFO this time. Uh, also a really kind of cool unique boss fight. I've never done something like this where you get a You get like an infinite boss fight you get an infinite firepower But also you get the cloud as well to go up and fight Bowser as well Woo Let's go for the one-up just because we can Ah, uh, yeah, baby spring. Yeah, let's go <laughs> That is so Freaking cool. What a great level. Nobody can deny that. That was a super awesome level. Okay, let's check out level two. Hopefully level one and two can keep up with this one because this is probably my favorite level I've played in a really long time. Number two. All right, in number two, we have the German creator Megateffen. Now Megateffen, I recognize I've played quite a few of their levels just through Super Expert alone. Uh, Megateffen does some really cool like uh, setup levels like shows you how like shell jumps and how setups for different kind of jumps and different shell mechanics and stuff have evolved and this is also really cool so we have get a life at 3d probably a 90 second speed run uh, with the end when Mario wakes up in another dimension he changes his mind let's go 153,000 likes 624,000 plays these numbers are astronomical absolutely like one of these levels has like Tens of thousands more plays than all of my levels combined. Okay, so we are not running on a timer. Okay, I guess we're just going to go. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, is this going to be one of these levels where he teases us with all the one-ups? Yeah, it is. Okay, I've played one of these before of Mega Tefit where like the whole level, uh, we have a clear condition of gathering one one-up. And the whole level, he's going to tease us with one-ups, and we're going to be so close every time. Look, we're going to go back here, and they're going to be gone. <laughs> I love it. It's absolutely brilliant. I, I've, again, I've played... <laughs> okay, obviously, we're not going to be able to get that one. All right. There's something really magical about these levels. I, ah, uh, no. Okay, that's okay, because obviously we're going to get denied here as well. <laughs> I think I played one of these in Super Expert as well. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we just definitely can't go up there. I was nervous that we might get a, I mean, I was a little nervous because I'm just so used to seeing soft locks and stuff. Okay, I guess we're not going to go down there. Come back! <laughs> oh, no! It says the block's up on top. Uh, again, I just absolutely have always... Oh, my gosh. Always loved uh, Mega Tefet's levels. Oh, they're going to smoosh all of our one-ups, man. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I 
I've also never seen a boom boom uh, trap like that where he takes himself out. Come back, one up. One up, come back. You can blame it all on me. We still haven't found our one one up yet. We found lots of them. Okay, what's going to happen here? Of course. Ah. And of course, there's just no way in. There's just no way in there. All right, that's fine. See if I care. We probably won't be able to double back through the pipe either. Nope. Okay, what is this? We're just looking at all these one-ups we can't get. Key we can't use either. Okay. There's a door off to the side. And of course, just another tease of one-ups. On the music cutouts. Very suspenseful. <laughs> oh, is this going to be it? Is this the one? It's the one. We got it. Okay, it says go this way here. Okay, he did say no. Oh, no, no. What? <laughs> okay, all right. I knew number three was going to be a hard competitor to beat. Number two, I think, did it for me. So that was really slick, really sweet level. Again, Mega Tevit, or I don't know if I'm even pronouncing the name right, uh, makes some super great levels and encourage everybody to go check them out. They're really great. Number one. All right, so for the top fifth, the, the most popular easy level going into 2020 is just called Pow Block. There's a word in front of it I don't really get, but Pal Block 2 by Yasu. Uh, we can't read the description, so we're just going to dive into it. And uh, let's uh, see how it goes. 2020, the top five of easy going into 2020 ends with this one being the most popular. Why is it the most popular? Okay, so we have just this really cool... Uh-oh. So just a really cool showcase kind of showing off. Uh, all the different effects and, and cool builds of all the, the red pow blocks in conjunction with maybe the blue pow blocks as well. <laughs> what is that? Look how sweet that is. Let's go. Oh, no. I don't even know where we are, man. I'm losing ourselves here. <laughs> you just can't but help but really enjoy these kind of levels. Thank you for playing. How awesome was that? The end. Yo, can we just get a round of applause? That was amazing. Short, sweet, really fun, really cool ideas. Let's go. All right. So that's going to round off the easy, the top five easy. We're going to move into normal and we're going to see what's going on. In the top five normal courses here. So starting from one down to five, we have the celestial spent 20 second speed run, which sounds great. We have find the error in the picture. Now I played this actually on stream and it was really great. We're going to hop into it. Somebody else must have submitted the table tennis as well. We're going to play this one as well. I've also played uh, beginner hero training, which was another really cool course. Now these are all things I've played probably on live stream, um, and, but not for a YouTube video. So it's going to be unique and special for us. And we're going to start with number five, number five. So the first of the five levels for normal mode going into 2020 is going to be this, this called snowy slide. Uh, let's just, uh, let's just dive into it. Shall we? I, I don't know. Really what it's saying so my, a lot of people mistake saying that i think i think i speak japanese i can't really speak japanese at all like zero okay so we're going to be doing a lot of sliding now these ones here we're going to maybe expect a death or two during the run uh that's just gonna okay because i am uh, again i'm <laughs> not the greatest 
Uh, let's explore up. We're going to get a 30 coin, and we're going to move forward and go ahead. Ba -ba -dum -bum 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 -ba. I still think the... Uh, I still think the snow theme is probably my favorite theme. Oh, we have two different paths we can go. I think we're going to take Pop Path. Oh, it's literally the same thing. Okay, we'll grab Checkpoint. We're going to get another mushroom as well. What's down here, though? Oh, just a bad a bad way to go is down there. Gonna have a bad time. Okay, very cool. Again, very simplistic. We're still not looking at a lot of skill challenge going into the normal category. Um, but I'm still... Uh oh Suspense is killing me. Oh, we're going down the big hill now. This is like the final triple black diamond hill, right? Wee! Oh no, we gotta get that. We can't just not ugh, get that. Okay, and then what are we gonna do? We're not gonna go that way, that's for sure. Okay, and then we're gonna go up this one here, get another mushroom. All right, so far, so so far, so sweet. We got the we got the bonus coin. Hey, let's go. And that's the end of the level. Ski slope down to the bottom of the hill. Mario's done on the slopes today. Let's go get some hot chalky. Let's go get some, you know, some. Let's go to the let's go to the pro lounge. What what is it called at the ski hill where you go and you get like all your drinks and stuff? I don't know. Just the bar. Let's go get some hot chalky at the bar. Really cool level. Number four. All right, so up on number four, we have uh, we have this level called Beginner Hero Training, and it's a, can, gonna be kind of a long adventure level. However, it's gonna showcase some really cool stuff to do with the Master Sword. I tried building one of these Master Sword tutorial levels. It kind of fell flat. I didn't, I liked it. I liked what we did with it. However, it was, uh, I feel like it definitely could have been better. Okay, why for Master Search? So he's actually got pictures des describing what we should be doing and how we should be getting through the cores. So we're going down for the, the downward thrust. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was almost, it was almost too much for me. Nothing up there. There's coins up there, though. Gonna do a little charge. Okay, this is... Now that was the coolest ever. If you guys, I'm gonna play that sound effect one more time. Because I was so excited when I heard that because as I as I talked about it in my video where you uh, where you have the opportunity to kind of show off like there's different sound effects that work with the Link costume as well, different sounds and sound effects. I missed some of them. And uh, I like, I really like how this creator went ahead and uh, and made their own sound effects. It was really cool. Okay, we're gonna bop that. Now that's like right out of the preview when, when the Mario Maker 2 update dropped for the Link costume. That kind of thing was like kind of right out of the preview there. Oh, this was the coolest part. So it doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter which uh, set of doors you do, it's gonna slowly break apart this little uh, this little animation there. So we just did the one, we just did the shield trial. We're gonna go through the uh, through the bomb trial now. Yeah, this was a way better, obviously a way better design course than the one I made. I really like this. Okay, and it does force you, it doesn't like, you can get away with like using your arrow in some spots, but um, the design is definitely focused around using the bomb. Look how cool that is. Just a just a really neat way to force you to use your bombs. Again, we're gonna see the same stuff fall out here. We're gonna get a little bit different uh, projection. All right. I can't remember how it ends up though. Is it just a Triforce? I don't really remember. It's such cool bow arrow too. Okay, so L and R, so we know. Like this one here, you could use the bomb there too, right? You could use it if you wanted to. So sweet. Boop, 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 boop. We're gonna collect the coins anyways, just because we can. 
Because, I mean, that'd be a cool idea. Nice little pedestal to stand on there. And away we go. So what is the design building here? It is just Triforce. See, and then the last one, the bomb walks off and hits that bottom block, gives you the key so we can actually proceed through the rest of the level here. What is this? What's over here? There's like a little, I don't know if I ever noticed this before. <laughs> it's just like a one up, a little hidden one up. Let's go. Really sweet. Okay, now, is there, there's got to be a boss fight, right? Oh, yeah, let's go get a one up as well. Okay, how are we supposed to do this one? Now, I think I think the idea is that there's multiple ways to do it. Uh-oh. Because ultimately, you can just do this. You can just do that. Or you can pop the P-switch uh, up on the top there. Oopsie. So obviously, the P-switch is going to drop him or those are going to crush him. It doesn't matter how you do it. You have the opportunity to, to do either one. All right, off we go. We got the Bowser fight done. Oh, there's the, the upside down P-switch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember uh, viewers submitted this to me during the live stream and uh, must have been pulling out a top normal expert levels because, I mean, I played a couple of them and this is, I've already played and liked this one. Really, really sweet cores. Number three. Okay, so Davey brings us the Table Tennis and Merrymaker 2 hard. This is actually quite a simple course. Uh, please don't put my own foot in my mouth and get destroyed. Uh, I see the world record's 20 seconds. It should be pretty sweet, short and sweet. I think it's actually only one screen. So you get in here and you just do it and it's one screen. Uh, uh, oops. So we've definitely seen this kind of course before. They were actually, this is kind of like a common trope. Oh no. This is kind of a common uh, build setup, and we've seen it lots in Maker 1 for sure. I know I've seen it lots in Maker 1. Oh no! We only got one more. I said this was easy. Please don't... Ugh, don't embarrass me. All right, there we go. All right. Okay, there we go. And we're... Oh, no, please don't. <laughs> oh, we broke the machine at the end. Um... Another really cool course, but it's, you know, I haven't seen a lot of it in Merrymaker 2. We've seen that, like I said, maybe because Merrymaker 1 was around for like three, four years. We've seen a lot more of it. I think we'll see more of this as well in Maker 2. Number two. All right. This is a really fun level. As you can see in the thumbnail, it shows you that like you have to find the one that has the error in the picture and that'll be the path you go on. Like in the thumbnail, the one is the red pipe and then the two green pipes. That's your clue. Um, and some of these actually get a little detailed, which is really sweet because you can just stop and look at it and enjoy it by legend as well. Legend has another one of these is for sure. A number two. So we're looking at all three pictures and we're going to see what's different in them. Now, this one here is the arrow and the middle picture is pointing down right. Is this the right way to go? Big bong. Let's go. Oh, it even gives you the, if you guessed it, it looks like he even gives you the answer down here if you guessed it. So that's pretty cool. My memory is kind of short, so. Of course, it's Super Mario World, so it's obviously the best theme as well. Okay, it's the middle one again because the, the semi-solid in the bottom is the green platform. It's the green platform in the bottom, and that's uh, that's what we're looking for. Bump, 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 bump. All right. Oh, he didn't give us the answer that time. Okay, anyways, okay, what's different on this one here? Now, I looked at everything, like the backgrounds and everything. Uh, this one is... Oh, the spring. There's a sideways spring over on this one here. This one's horizontal. The other two are vertical. We got the... <laughs> Let's go. Oh, he did give it to us. I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, screen four. Now we're getting a little trickier. We're getting a little bit trickier. So let's take a look. We have everything in place. Okay. Oh, it's the middle one. No, it's the left one because there's no donut behind the muncher. 
See how cool it is? It's getting a little tricky. You know, it's kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of putting our, our brain meats to use here. Okay, so now we're counting stars. How many stars are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I count. Get the! It doesn't matter. You get it anyways. So that's pretty cool. Oh, we can't collect the coins. That was just a bonus round. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, okay, let's look. Two coins in the top. All the semi-solids are the same color. Burners are firing at the same time. There's three question blocks each. All the gloombers are on the same path. Fire flowers in the bottom right. And when I said semi-solids, I meant the, uh, the, the green platforms. But the semi-solid also looks identical. Spike on top of a donut. All the pipes are the same color. All right, this one's a little tricky here. Where is the difference? Oh, I found it. Okay, I don't know if you guys see that, but in between the burners, there's a coin in the middle one and there's no coin on the outside ones. So there's a coin and it gets hidden behind the fires. So that's pretty cool. Again, uh, I just really love to see this super ingenuity. Uh, in, see, there's the coin reveal there. I just love to see the ingenuity between behind like all of these really cool courses. This one here stuck out really fast. It's a donut behind. Uh, it's a donut behind the the claw, and the other ones are uh, flip blocks. Yeah, let's go. Okay, where are we off to next? The final battle. The final picture. Oh, this one here. Okay, now this has to do with which one has... I think it's the far right one. All the pictures are the same, except for the mushrooms are moving at a different pace. So if you can just, like, sit back and look at it. It might be number two, actually. Oh, I just jumped. I hope it's number two. Did we make a mistake? I made a mistake. Oh, we got to do this again. I accidentally pressed the button when I was... Uh, didn't have enough time to look, you guys. Oh, it actually is number three, but not for the reason I thought it was. I thought the mushrooms and the one-ups loaded at a different rate. So that it looked a little bit different, but actually looking closer, all the mushrooms do move at the same rate. It always goes red, green, red, and they're all hitting at the same time. But there's a coin hiding behind them instead of a second donut block. So this is definitely the right path to go. That also means when I played this before, I got lucky because I didn't see that before. I'm pretty sure I remember looking at the, the rates of them. G, G, baby, let's go. What a really cool level, really cool finish as well. Again, uh, these courses are just super amazing. Number one. All right, we're getting into some pretty big numbers here. 448,000 likes on this 181,000 or 1,813,000 unique players. Never stop running, trust the fake traps, and most importantly, enjoy. That's over 13 million plays. What? Okay, let's go. Number one, by Dynasteel. Let's uh, see what's going on here. 20 second speed run. It should be short, sweet, and to the point. Let's see if we just ace it. Okay, so jump, jump, jump. Uh, we're good to go. I'm just following the arrows. That's all a person can do. Oh, no. Well, apparently I missed. <laughs> apparently, okay, let's just go one more time from the top before I, I jump cut to that part again. Um, yeah, we're just going to trust all the arrows is doing this level. Seems to seems to make sense. We're still in normal mode, so we should be able to trust. The oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Did I goof it? I probably didn't make the time on it. No. Okay, so it's a 100%. Gotta run it. We got two deaths going on. It's not good. 
Okay, we're back now. And we didn't take that extra... We didn't clip the wall there, so we're good. <laughs> really cool level. I liked it. It was really fun, and I really enjoyed it. I still think, like... If I was to give this my own ranking, this would probably be number three on this list because number two and three were really super amazing. And this is cool. This is cool. Um, but I mean, I don't know if you can match that. Like what's wrong with the picture? That's just like the best ever. All right, there you have it. The top five normal levels going into 2020. Are you guys 2020 out chance? I'm not. All right, let's go into hard mode and see what's going on here with, uh, or in expert mode, I guess. Uh, let's see what the top five are. So we have switch, switch, switch X, switch. Okay. Uh, we have self-destruct activated by Ryu's. Uh, Nora is number one. We have the rhythm challenge, the gourmet race. It's a Kirby level. Let's go by Raul. Raul it, Raul it. Uh, we have toxic tranquility by Lil Help. Canadian representing on the expert board there and power nongs zigzag and slide the hard winter at number five number five so the first level we're going to be dropping into for expert is the zigzag and slide the hard winter by power nong x going zigzag slide through icicles and react fast to platforms and obstacles let's do it let's crush this let's see what let's see what expert brings us I don't think we're going to find cooler levels than what was in normal, maybe easy. Um, but uh, we're going to hopefully try. Well, we're not going to try. We're just going to hope that it happens. Okay, so slide, jump, slide, jump, slide, jump. All right, we're back into jumping. I really like these kind of speedrun levels. They're just really friendly to play. They're fun. They're they're rewarding as well when you play them. Uh, if you can, if you have this skill level for these, like these, these runs are some of the best to play. They're, I don't know. I mean, often, oh, there's that checkpoint in this too. Let's go. Hopefully we won't need it, but, uh, this course is slowly starting to ramp up at least aesthetically. But yeah, if you have the, like I said, I often, oftentimes I've been caught saying like, oh, another, you know, another speed run. But, I mean, there's there's good speedruns and there's bad ones. And this one here definitely feels like a really good, solid, fun to play, open, you know, friendly and, like, designed to play well. As were some... <laughs> I'm used to playing in the super expert category where, you know, where some things are not designed to be friendly to play. Um, so playing something like this is definitely a really good change of pace. Okay, we're getting close to the end. I can see the I can see the end of it. The big question is is <laughs> Yo, we one shot that. Yo, thanks and a little mean angry smiley face, a wicked smiley face. Mario got delivered off screen with the heaven sound effect. He has been delivered to the heavens. Cool level though. Really liked it. Number 4. All right, USA holding up number five on the experts uh, top five going to 2020. Now we have Canada holding up number four going into 2020 for expert. Toxic Tranquility. This is surprising to find this on the popular courses. We only have 135 likes on this one as opposed to the other one where we had like 11,000. Uh, so it feels like it's actually almost relatively new only with, with like 278 clears. Uh, toxicity can be relinquished when one finds inner peace. Embark for yours. All right, little help. Let's see what you got for us with Toxic Tranquility and the Bros 3 uh, Toxic Swamp theme. Wonder what's going to happen. Okay, the poison is not rising, so that's a bonus. I found a nice little hidden one up, and you guys know I go crazy for hidden one ups. Wait, there's two paths we can go? Why go two different paths? Uh oh. <laughs> Funny guy. <laughs> okay. That's cute. I almost cursed. I almost screamed a little loud there. Uh, now, this one here, I believe, is probably not so friendly. Oh, it is. 
Okay, well, we're good there. Uh, do I try it? Do we risk it? All right, we got it. Now, we didn't even need that because we brought the spring. However, we can't bring the spring up with us, so we're going to go this way. Okay, so far, cute, cute uh, level... <laughs> I don't want to get too complacent with that. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to feel like I'm getting too used to allowing that to happen to me because well, there's going to be a time where we go in there and it's not going to be good for us. Okay. Where is this turtle shell going? He's going to do some business over here. <laughs> Yo, so cool. All right now. Okay. There we go. I figured that's what was going to happen. You've seen it happen over on the right-hand side. All right, a little help. Giving us a little help jumping into that uh, poison swamp. How many times have we seen checkpoints? I feel like we've gotten the same checkpoint like four times already. All right, I'm getting a little showboaty here. Show doing a little bit of flexing, you know. But how can I, how do I not flex a little bit? We got the skills to pay the bills. We got to do a little bit of flex. All right, expert course is going a lot faster too than the, the normal and easy ones, uh, which is surprising to me because I expect the expert and the super expert ones to take a little bit longer to record. Um, just to factor in deaths, but we've one shot number five and four, so pretty sweet level so far. Toxicity can be relinquished when one finds inner peace. Low help, what a great level. Number three. All right, so this is one of those big courses that we were talking about, 12 million plays on this with over 120 million unique individuals and 244,000 likes. Pretty sweet, uh, pretty sweet. Rhythm challenge, gourmet race, run and jump following the rhythm of this Kirby song. Now, I think I recall the song. However, it's been a minute, so we may die like 100 times just kind of getting into it. Hopefully there's, okay. Bum, 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 No! <laughs> okay. I'm going to not bum along with it this time. No bumming. Uh, but I'm going to let you guys listen to it. How awesome was that? Yo! <laughs> I'm dying. That was great. Uh, that is one of the greatest song selections from Kirby, period, ever. And it was just so good. It was just so amazing. Really great. I actually played a level like this in Mirror Maker 1. Uh, very similar to the same concept, but it was much more challenging because it was a whole super expert course with like three different sections, but it was still done to like the background music where you jumped and twirled to the beat. Um, interesting, interesting concept because actually in NSMBU and new Super Mario Brothers U, um, I believe that the designers, the sound directors worked with the game engineers to, um, actually use the rhythm of the music to influence different aspects of the game, like the Koopas dancing with the beats and other things like that. So it's cool to see players also embrace that same concept. Anyways, sweet level, hard to deny. Uh, let's go on to number two. Number two. All right, self-destruct activated. My most popular course from Mirror Maker 1 remastered. Are you ready to blast off? Well, I don't know. Maybe let's uh, check it out here. Um, so this is a Merrimaker one re remake. This is the redux. I don't know how you, I don't know what the proper word is, but uh, we're going to hop into, we're going to see. So the only, oh no. All right. We're good so far. Life is, uh, just follow the coin trails. Life is going to be fine. Very hectic, very loud going level, but uh, outside of that, pretty pretty good so far. Oh, just a coin block. Okay, we got a 
Dark Power, and we over we under jumped that, but we just got checkpoints, so that's all right. I uh, went a little quiet there, anyways. I I kind of wanted to say like I really enjoy this level so far. However, one of my big qualms is the is the music selection. The uh, that N sixty four. What is that? The slide the slide course. I never ever. I just couldn't get into it, man. Okay, make a big jump. Make another jump. Another jump. And another jump. Okay, now I think we're good here. I kind of want to watch the bottom of the level because I want to see all the destruction being wrought as we go through the level, but you got to look forward. So you guys get the luxury of... Uh... Oh, there's stuff up top. You guys get the luxury of looking at all the cool stuff while I'm busy looking at all the forward coming stuff. Um, another really cool level. Liked it. It was sweet. All right, let's drop a like on that and uh, move forward. That was number two by Rias. Rias or Ru Ruse? I don't know. Number one. Okay, so up here we have Switch X Switch. So let's uh, check it out by, by Nori139. Uh, the description says something about Switch gimmick course. Um, so we're going to obviously have to be using the, the, the Switch on the Switch. This is the number one highest rated level leaving 2019 going to 2020 for the expert category. Um, let's see what we can get going on here now. All right, I'm not, I'm not afraid of no mole. Okay, so far it's not really what I was expecting. I'm not sure what I was expecting. I guess I was expecting like a one screen kind of survival-ish kind of level. Not quite sure what what it was I was expecting, but so far uh, pretty cool. We're just doing like this this chill kind of adventure, uh, light platforming kind of level here. Okay, jump, jump. Oh no, that was too close for comfort. Okay, we, we did we did rock a checkpoint though, so that's pretty sweet. I actually really like uh, I really like how this looks. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna just for the sake of posterity, we're gonna try and grab all of our coins as well. I mean, why not? We may as well, as long as the the course isn't like brutally kicking our booties. May as well uh, spend a couple couple seconds and, and grab our coins here. I feel that like level creator really went to the extent to put those extra coins in there for us to try and uh, to try and get. So we're gonna we're gonna respect that. We're gonna respect level creator, and we're gonna we're gonna respect Nori One Thirty Nine, and uh, we're gonna really yes. We're gonna try and collect all the optional stuff that we can. Oh, actually, I feel like I've played this already, because I I definitely recognize this boss fight. Okay. All right, there we go. So we got the boss fight. We're over on the Ags. Game over. See you later, Bowser. Again, another really cool course. Really straightforward. Nothing too super challenging. And I talk about this a lot during live streams, but I also want to talk about it now. And I also talk about it during YouTube videos. This just goes to show you that you can make a really fun, really cool, engaging course. That is, uh, I don't know. I think they're fun and engaging to play. Um... And you don't have to like make it difficult for the sake of it being difficult. You can just make a good course that you found fun to play and it was engaging and all around just a good time. All right, guys, we've finished our top five expert courses going into 2020. Let's switch it up and go into super expert and get our hands dirty. This is what you all been waiting for. Let's see what's waiting for us here. We have crazy jumps too by Mango Man. Now, of course, as a heads up, in the Super Expert category, I cannot guarantee that we're going to beat every one of these levels. I am going to do my best, though, to see what's going on with them. So we have Crazy Jumps 2. We have 20-second Run Pal on off blocks. We have Mario Kicking Goals 20-second level. The Collapsing Cavern. And Bufflin coming in with a Spike Top Syrup Swamp. Number 5. I've actually played Spike Top Syrup Swamp, and I think I made it into a top five beforehand. It looks like it's resurfaced. It's now a fun, minimalist auto scroll level. And I also recall it being a little tricky. Uh, let's see what Bufflin has for us. 
the Spike Top Syrup Swamp. Okay, so we're going to get, again, we have that, as you said, the minimalist uh, auto scroll kind of feature here. Okay, I'm actually really enjoying this. It's not quite ringing any bells for me yet. Well, it feels a little familiar. Um, but again, I have such a short memory. That's uh, not everything. Not everything sticks, you know? Okay, we're back to where we were. Let's get it. Okay, up we go. Down, jump. Let's go. Did we make it? Did we get it? We got it. Let's go. Bufflin. Uh, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Bufflin makes some of the greatest levels I've played in the Super Expert category. Absolutely love this stuff. Absolutely love this man. Also representing Canada. It's a good number. Good place to be, baby. Top five Super Expert. All right, let's go and see what number four brings us. Number four. All right, another Canadian coming in, representing us with Collapsing Cavern uh, with 58,000 likes, almost 59. We're going to help him out with a heart here after this. And I encourage you guys to drop it in. If everybody who watched this episode, we can get this man to 59,000 likes for show, maybe even 60. Um, the Collapsing Cavern. Let's go. Canadian brand, what you got for us? We're looking at a 1.76 clear rate, so we should be able to handle this relatively without too much, without too much trouble. Some of these levels still feel like a little familiar. Now, maybe I've played this one too, but this one doesn't have my heart on it. However, that doesn't really mean I haven't played it. That just means, uh oh. That just means that maybe the, uh, the heart has disappeared. Or not that it's disappeared, but oh no. So far, really fun platforming. Also, again, I, I always stop and like look at level aesthetics. Because I think level aesthetics are one of the most important things uh, that we can implement in a level. Because it just it just gives us something so much more to look at other than straight up... Uh-oh. I think I was supposed to make that jump. I don't know if I can make it still. Oh, yes. Recovery. We recovered that, baby. Okay. Up the vine. Wait. Why do they have coins going down? Oh, this isn't even more. This is just an optional area. Okay, that's cool. So this time we're going to line up on the vine, I think, and we're just going to drop down. Nope. And finished. Yo, Bran. <laughs> what an amazing course. Again, nice platforming. Not too difficult, but... Oh, I have liked it already. I probably have played this one, too. Ooh. Number three. Okay, so this is called Mario Kicking Goals. It's a 20 second speed run. Uh, it looks like I've played and featured. Uh, it looks like I've played and liked this level as well in the past. Probably meaning that I've played it and on a on a previous level uh, or a previous episode. Uh, let's check it out. So kick the pals up and throw the shells forward. Be sure to time your shots. Uh, let's see what Pete Mario Maker, Super Mario Maker Pete has for us with kicking goals. Now, I think I've played this level, and I think Pete has another level similar to this. If not, I feel like I have definitely played another level uh, kind of similar to this. Okay, we're going to jump, jump, jump. Let's go. Oh. All right, that was a little late on the up throw. Let's try it again from the top. I think we got this. Um, Because I'm pretty sure I've played... I'm pretty sure I've played a Super Mario World version of this... Uh, type of level uh, in the in Bowser's castle. Okay, shells go forward. Oh no! Why did I jump into him? That was not worth. <laughs> okay, we got this. I'll catch you guys near the end of it. Okay, we're back. Let's go. Let's nail this. Let's. Oh no! <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Okay, there we go. Locked it down, baby. That was a really cool chorus. I do, like I said, I recall playing this, 
And I mean, it's sitting in number three for a reason, right? It's sitting in number three because it's a great course. It's fun to play. It's accessible again. Uh, those are like really important things to keep in mind when you when you build a level. Like I, I think, I think if anything, all the courses that we're reviewing today can really show you that like the top levels aren't these levels that are like a bazillion shell jumps back to back with you know crazy mechanics uh, mixed in between. These are just some really fun and enjoyable courses. Number two. In the Super Extra category, this one here has over 1 million plays. Try to use the PAL block and shells to try to activate the on-off switch. Um, 20 second PAL on and off block by Z Mystery, our friend from Germany. Let's see what Germany City in rank number two brings us. Now, apparently I played and featured this one as well. So we'll see, maybe this is, maybe this is, maybe this is the one. Remember I said I just, no, this isn't the one. I'm sure I played one uh, in the past that used shells uh, very similar to kind of how we did in the last level. All right, so far, so good. <laughs> we just one shot it, baby. Really cool, and I love the backward shell jumps. Um, or the, I love the backward shell throws. It's one of the funnest things I've had to do when I play Mario Maker. Um, I don't know why I like it so much, but it's just super fun to run forward, turn back, throw a shell against the wall. We were really close to timing out those, so it is a pretty tight timer on that course. Um, yo, Z Mystery, that was short and sweet. I know, like I thought, I thought for sure the super expert levels would be taking us way longer to complete through. Number one. All right, Mango Man 07 USA representing the top best, most popular super expert level within it's it's the last top super expert level going into 2020. This this is the top of the 20 going into 2020. Now I'm 20 out. Okay, crazy jumps to a harder version of my most popular level. All right, Mango Man, let's see what you got. How crazy is it gonna be? Uh, <laughs> I wish some luck. There is no timer. I'm sh I'm shocked that there's no timer on this level. Okay, so far nothing too crazy, you know. Uh oh. Oh wow, that was awesome. Solid platforming. Woo! Crazy jump section number one, baby. Locked down. We're gonna get a checkpoint as well. Very nice to see. Absolutely love checkpoints in a level. Uh, now this whole level I've been, or the whole time I've been going full momentum, except for now in the second section, I've had to slow down a little bit. Whoop, up, down, move it all around. I'm waiting for the, yeah, I was waiting for this here. Cause I felt like it's going to be much the same, kind of like the same idea concept going forward. So sub world and main world, uh, we both go to the very far right. Then we go to the very far left as well. So we're not setting world record pace here, but I'm okay with that. I'm not a, whoa, why is, what's with the circles? We got some geometry going on here now, all of a sudden. It was just spikes before. Okay, third section, we're so far doing so good. I lost more lives in normal mode, I think, than I've lost in Super X for all together. <laughs> I'm not one level in normal mode. That was a really great level, dude. Again, so like looking at these, you guys are going to notice a couple different things. So in the easy and the normal modes, um, we're going to see more like level mechanics, you know, more super aesthetically beautiful looking levels. And then as you go into expert and super expert for popular levels, we're going to see some more like platforming, some more challenging stuff, but it's not going to be so focused on like, you know, you won't be stopping and looking at something or I mean, you might get a cool puzzle level sitting in an expert somewhere uh, or super expert, but it's probably not likely. And you're going to get more of those in normal and easy because they're going to look so good and so physically rewarding or aesthetically rewarding. As we're super expert, again, you're going to get more platforming, uh, maybe a little bit more bare bones on the aesthetics, but it's still going to, you know, they play well, they feel fun. And uh, it just depends on what you're looking for. But I definitely encourage you guys, if you're ever looking for something really sweet to play, check out the popular courses, sort them by all time or even by the, I mean, all time is the best way, I think. The week, 
Maybe you want to do it by week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This should be the last video of mine for the year. So uh, happy New Year's to everybody. I don't, I don't know what you guys are doing, but whatever you guys are doing, whatever you guys got going on, stay safe. Have a great New Year's. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this top 20 going into 2020 video. I really, I haven't done one of these top five videos in a really long time. And I just wanted to kind of get something like that done. So uh, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. Have a happy new year. Don't forget, like the video, leave me a comment in the section below. Spread some love. Follow the channel. Hit the bell notification. Stay in touch for uploads. Catch me live on Twitch. Um, or just uh, and just, just enjoy this one video, however you guys want to do it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Be well. Stay awesome. Do great things. Drink G Fuel. Use code Oshi at the shop. Save yourself some money. Get yourself some swag. I love your faces. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.